Hi, it's Dr. James from Vets of Geelong, and today I'm talking about senior cats and how they present to us in the consult room with hypothyroidism. Hypothyroidism is an overactive thyroid gland, not to be confused with hypothyroidism, which is an underactive thyroid gland. Hypothyroidism typically presents to cats, whereas hypothyroidism typically presents to dogs. Hypothyroid cats often present in the consult room with a history of drinking more, urinating more. Often they've got an increase in their appetite, but they actually drop weight. So some owners kind of assume that cats might need a worm. It's one of those funny things. It's not marrying up what's happening. What you tend to find is these hypothyroid cats, so increased appetite, ravenous, sometimes they'll vocalize at night. Some owners describe them as just being very weird. Typically they're 12 years of age or thereabouts. Often they might have vomiting as well, and sometimes diarrhea a little bit restless and their coat's just a bit, not as good as it used to be, a bit matted and unkempt. And they'll often get a bit of muscle weakness. That's how they present in the consult room. Typically the veterinary team will then assess the patient, they'll check their heart rate, often elevated. They might feel for a thyroid goiter, which can be palpable. You might find their coat's very characteristic of an unkempt cat. They might also then have other little hallmarks which raise our suspicion. We then will often recommend we do some baseline bloods, including a T4 level, to ascertain what the thyroid levels might be at and checking out for other concurrent diseases. And typically these cats will have some other changes in their biochemistry markers as well. Once we establish a diagnosis, often what we do is go through the treatment options. And this day and age, probably the most common treatment options would be some form of oral medication. And there are some good hypothyroid medications for cats these days. Some are tablets once a day, twice a day, some are liquids. We've also got the option of some transdermal gels which you put on their ear. So they're all options to medicate your hypothyroid cat. Other options include radioactive iodine or iodine-131. It's a treatment where they can be referred, they're given a radiation dose, and that actually mitigates the treatment for hypothyroidism. And again, there's pluses and minus for cats or for owners that want to consider that as a treatment option, particularly if your cat is very problematic to medicate. There are some, I guess, historical places where you would have considered a thyroidectomy, where the thyroid gland is removed. It's probably common historically more overseas, less common in Australia, but these are all parts of the puzzle which you can consider. There's also a treatment by Hills called Hills YD, which is a specific food which is given to treat hypothyroidism. And again, the veterinary team will tailor the treatment based on what your cat needs. Typically, these cats often present to us, they'll have a diagnosed with some blood tests, we start the medication, and we then typically do a blood test a few months down the track to see how the levels are going and so forth. So often the routine monitoring. It is a disease which you manage for the rest of their natural life. And typically these cats go on to have normal lives once they're medicated. If you've got any questions about your cat potentially being hypothyroid or displaying these signs, reach out to the team and we'll organize some blood tests or have a look at the cat and go from there. Speak to you soon guys, bye.